Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from PBC Northgate, where we read God's Word, meditate together on it, and pray. I'm reading from Joshua chapter 3. The children of Israel have come. They are now camped across the Jordan. They have surveyed the city of Jericho, and they have seen indeed that God has gone ahead of them. But there's a big challenge. The river Jordan is in flood state. It's been leaning upstream, so the volume of water is uh, much. The Israelites, nearly more than two million, can't swim across. So God uh, has a solution. Let me tell you, no matter how fast, how intense the challenge you are in, God always has a solution. Let's hear the solution from Joshua chapter 3. This is what God is telling Joshua. Verse 3. Give orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levitical priests carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you'll know which way to go since you've never been this way before. But keep a distance of about 2,000 cubits between you and the Ark. Do not go near it. It's about one kilometer between the Ark of the Covenant and the people. Joshua told the people, consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things in your midst. Joshua said to the priests, take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, today I'll begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel. They will know that I'm with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the head of the Jordan's water, go and stand in the river. Joshua said to the Israelites, come here, listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you'll know that the living God is among you and that he will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. See, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then, choose men from among you, from each tribe. And as soon as the priest who carried the ark of the Lord, the ark of the, uh, set of, of the Lord, set their foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing down, downstream will be cut off and stand up in a heap. This, this vision, Joshua saw in a dream as he waited on God because he had an encounter with God. And God told him, don't worry, the water is in flood, but I'm there with you. So step into the water. This is a very important step for every believer. Don't be afraid. Step into the situation and the trouble because God will not move until you get into the fire. God will not move until you get into the lion's den. So they were told together with the Ark of the Covenant, priests, the Levites, get into the Jordan. So as soon as the priests, the Levites, carrying the Ark of the Covenant, stepped into the river upstream, a town called Adam, the river stopped flowing and the water became a heap, like a dike. And so the Israelites were able to cross the Jordan on dry ground. This was an amazing thing. But remember, God had said that uh, today I'll start to exalt you, Joshua, so that people will know, as I was with Moses, also I am with you. Just imagine a river stopping to flow because God has spoken to the river. He's the one who makes the rivers to flow. And he's the one who knows the deepness and the fastness of the oceans. His voice is uh, great. Psalms 29 breaks the cedars of Lebanon. So what you need in your walk of faith, number one, step out as Joshua stepped out. Number two, prophesy to your situation. Declare that uh, this river will stop flowing and you'll walk on dry ground. Number three, make it a memorial for others. He had chosen 12 men so they could pick 12 stones from the riverbed so that uh, they put it on a, as a heap across the Jordan to testify to generations to come because we are a testimony in our generation, but also in generations to come. They were able to say, these stones testify to the fact that God helped us to cross the Jordan on dry ground, even though it was flooded. This is what God can do. He said, today you will start to see me in the midst of God's people. What is it that you are worried about your life? I just want to tell you that invite God 
into that situation. He will deliver you in a way that is miraculous, in a way that is divine, in a way that gives you a testimony. Let's just thank God for this amazing, amazing story. Father, we thank you. The Jordan is in flood. The priests are carrying the Ark of the Covenant. It's a risky thing. The people are consecrated. They are one kilometer away. And then you say, march across. When they stepped into the water is when the, the river stopped flowing at Adam upstream. Amazing. So they were able to cross on dry ground. I just want to prophesy to someone today and tell you the waters in your life, the floods in your life, they will not overwhelm you and you will not drown. God will take you across on dry ground and use it as a testimony. Carry the stones of remembrance to say, see the goodness of the Lord, what he's been able to do for me and my generation. And so we thank you for the story of Joshua and the people of Israel crossing the Jordan River. May this continue to inspire men and women to know that we serve a God of ability, a God where there is no, nothing that can stop him from delivering on his promise, a God who takes you across the Jordan into the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. God bless you as you trust this God with your life and this prayer we make in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.